Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech It. So it occurred to me that I never used a battery box <laughs> for my um, blue power. So, yeah, you don't necessarily need it. I mean, but you can use it if you fancy it. Um, what we're going to do just for now is take this cable away, bridge the gap like that, and put a lever down just to turn that off. Because as always, it will continue clicking and clicking and clicking, and it does you nothing. So, uh, I'll tell you what we can do. We'll put this battery box down. So that can gain some power. Um, that can just be, you know, doing that. Oh, it's just sat there. So, this may fluctuate a little bit but we can always do some stuff with that later on so it's got a bit of power in there uh, so I'm going to show you how to make a nuke bloody dangerous things um, <laughs> to be blunt and this has been requested by a subscriber thank you very much sir oh my god all these weeds see this is the thing about crops you've got to be you've got to uh, pay attention to them and we've got just so much stuff in this world that we can't concentrate on it all. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make a nuke and I think we'll use a timer for this as well and set it on quite a big delay so we can we have time to run away from it um, and we'll see how much destruction we can make. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need to use some uh, uranium for this now I think we've got a bit. We can transmute it. If not, uh, it'll probably be in this chest. Uh, we've got quite a bit. We're going to need four pieces. And the good thing about this is you can transmute it as well. Uh, it requires six diamonds if you need to transmute. Uh, we need some gunpowder as well. Uh, I should have a piece. We need one piece. Which we can transmute. Uh... Hmm. Maybe not. No such luck. Just double checking because I know how easily I miss things. So, um. Looks like we're going to have to find a bit. Still, no. Oh well, it's not a problem. We can go and find a creeper. Let's put our stuff away. Uh, any chest will do for now. Let's make ourselves a uh, sword as well. Let's make a let's make a dark matter sword. Uh, to make these, you can use some diamond for the handles. So one handle needs a diamond, and then two dark matter. We've got actually a ton of this stuff. So think of the stick as the diamond for this. Like a normal sword, like that. You can charge this up by holding V. And the effects are pretty bad out. Okay, so what you can do with this is, if you have, let's turn the creatures on, uh, yeah, there's a few things you can do, one of them is, when this is charged, you can right click uh, when you're near a mob, and it will do a damage to like, every mob in the vicinity, so you can basically spread out the damage, uh, it does 6 hearts of damage standard, so it's a very efficient fighting machine. You can make a red mass sword as well. Maybe something I'm looking to later on. Um, I don't know what I'm doing because we can use our little control, um, you know, our, our boosted jumps as we're wearing our armour. Let's hold, hold it down.
Whoa. So we need a creeper. There's one. Oh, that didn't work at all. Huh. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. There we go. If we can just get to it. Bloody skeleton. Bastard. See if we find a gunpowder now. You are dumb, I know, Dad. Um, do we get gunpowder then? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> so I think it was it. Damn you. Hmm. Oh, let's scale this. Let's see if there's anything up here. Doubt it, but. Oh, oh! Getting very high now. You can hear the the sounds of it. Oh crap! I could have sworn I had a piece of gunpowder before, but there you go. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Crap! There's one over there. Come on then, sucker. Oh no. You need it. I need to just kill him first. Damn it. It's not the easiest thing to use. This alt button. Default is control, I believe, but that's zoom, so it's not very easy. There's a creeper. Ah, we've got those three. Now we've got the sounds of a desert. Desert island. No. Good. Cool. Alright, let's make it home. Oh, oh crap. Oh yeah, like a boss. Just like some freaking superhero jump. Cool. Right, now we don't we don't want any more survival. I don't want to have to survive. Um so gunpowder. Let's get our uranium as well. So we put it away for safekeeping. So we need to compact the uranium. How many pieces do we need? Is it four or five? I can't remember. It's four and five gunpowder, so we need to transmute a piece. Okay. So this uranium is alright as it is, but we need to refine it. So we put it in the compressor, mix it into bars. Standard default texture pack uh, will show a little blob, I believe, like a little squished up ball. Well, that may just be the ore, I'm not quite sure. Um, so make it TNT, but just with uranium, makes you a nuke. Now, I cannot stress enough, guys, how bloody careful you've got to be with this thing, because it's such a beast. It will just destroy everything, literally. Everything. Um, you can, I think we'll go for the dynamite and remote option of setting this off. So a piece of TNT, a piece of string, and we're gonna need the remote. So it's three pieces of TNT, so we've got enough to, I'll transmit a bit of this. Um, a circuit, and two glowstone and a piece of wire. Any normal circuits? It's advanced. Uh, no, we have to make one. No problem. I need a bit 
glowstone as well. Where's the glowstone? Ah. Uh, find iron. Got redstone? No. Nope. And more cable. Got a cable. Got all the cable. Okay. So, we will make our circuit. I've done this so many times now. Electronic circuit. Then we're going to put the circuit with in the middle piece of cable above. Two glows on either side, and then three TNT below. It's our dino moat. Dynamite is simple. Um, not like that. Durp. So straight above it. Mm, that's odd. Ah, that's industrial TNT. Oh, that's f fair enough. So that's uh, three pieces of TNT and then some flint. So we can do some transmuting. Oh. Industrial TNT is kind of like a step down from a nuclear, uh, from a catalyst, which we've made before. Um, so three TNT in a line, flint up and down, gives you four industrial. So it's got, got like double the power of normal TNT. And then Nova Catalyst is above industrial, then nukes above Nova Catalyst. Um, so that's that. So we're going to combine this. Let's get a dynamite. Okay, now I recommend backing up your bloody world because <laughs> this can uh, make a hell of a mess. Um, so I'm going to go and find somewhere safely to do this out of the way of my house. Uh, back in a jiff. <laughs> okay guys, so I found an area that's really far away. Literally. This, this will never affect my house. So, place your nuke. Put dynamite down. Okay. Now, this remote, if you click, right click now, it won't go off, but you need to click in the air. So, get really, really far back. Use your, um, we've got our rending gale so we can fly around. So, you're about to see the damage of this. Uh, make a nuclear bunker, maybe, if you uh, need to protect yourself, but there you go, let's do it. Right, sorry, need to prime it first. Right click the stick with the remote. Now it's primed. Right, are you ready for this? It's going to be insane. I'm going to do this in F1 mode because it looks beast. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> so there's a very similar to a nuclear reaction size. Obviously, the amount of nukes you have. The bigger the hole, the more you have, the bigger the hole. Um, but that's just one. So you can see why you wanted to get it away from the house. Um, so yeah. <laughs> that is how to make a nuke and explode that bad boy. So yeah, dynamite. You can throw it. It's actively lit. And it will explode. Oh, couldn't see that very well. Let's do it again. But yeah, you can place it, arm it, and then explode it, if you wish. So that's a good way to set off nukes from a distance. Or you can make a timer, but with quite a long delay on it, if you wish. Um, the good thing about a timer is, you can actually do it, you know, so you can go in a house, if you're making it on a server, and you, you really hate whoever is uh, you're doing this to. You can put it in the house, put a timer next to it, and it will 
like, say you have a time, I think the maximum time on it is something like 100 minutes or something, so, you know, they can just be doing whatever they want on their server, you won't even be logged in, and just, <laughs> just take everything out, it's just excellent griefing, <laughs> griefing tool if you need to do that, only if you need to on a sworn enemy, of course. So, that is the destruction of the nuke. So, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.